Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Christian Braun could join a historic group if the Denver Nuggets win an NBA title. Christian Braun is headed to the NBA Finals. On Monday night, Braun and the Denver Nuggets completed the four-game sweep of the Los Angeles Lakers to claim a spot in the 2023 NBA Finals. When the finals begin on June 1, Braun will have the opportunity to join a rare and pretty elite group of NBA players if Denver goes on to win the title. If the Nuggets win it all, Braun will be the first player since the 1986-87 season to win an NCAA title and an NBA title in consecutive seasons. He will also be the fifth-ever player to achieve that feat of course, Braun played a big role in KU basketball winning it all during the 2021-22 season and now in his first season in the NBA, Braun has been a rotation player for a Nuggets team that has looked like one of the best NBA squads for most of the year. The other four players who have won an NCAA championship and an NBA championship in back-to-back -back years include Bill Russell, 1955-56 CBB season with San Francisco and 1956-57 NBA season with the Boston Celtics, Henry Bibby, 1971-72 CBB season with UCLA and 1972-53 NBA season with the New York Knicks, Magic Johnson, 1978-79 CBB season with Michigan State and 1979-80 NBA season with the Los Angeles Lakers, and Billy Thompson, 1985-86 CBB season with Louisville and 1986-87 NBA season with the Los Angeles Lakers. Braun had a productive rookie season in the NBA. It was around this time last year that the Nuggets selected Braun number 21 overall in the 2022 NBA draft, making the Jayhawk the 19th player to be selected in the first round since Bill Self took over as head coach. During his first season in the NBA, the six foot seven guard has been a consistent member of Denver's rotation. He played in 76 of Denver's 82 regular season games and has played in 14 of Denver's 15 playoff games. During the regular season, Braun averaged 15.5 minutes per game. During his time on the floor, he averaged 4.7 points and 2.4 rebounds per game. He shot 49.5% from the field and 35.4% from three during the regular season. In the playoffs, his minutes have dipped to 11.8 per game and he's averaging 2.3 points per game on 42.9% shooting from the field. Going back to his days at KU, Braun put together a career year as a junior in 2021-22, his final season as a Jayhawk, and was named All-Big 12. The guard scored 14.1 points per game on 49.5% shooting from the field, 54.5% shooting from two and 38.6% shooting from three this past season. His points field goal percentage and two-point percentage were all career bests. But Braun did more than just score, his 6.4 rebounds and 2.8 assists per game were both career bests. Over the course of his three-year KU basketball career, Braun played in 101 games. During his time on the floor, Braun played 28.5 minutes per game, scoring 10.1 points per game on 44.9% shooting from the field and 37.8% shooting from three. He would also average five rebounds, 1.8 assists, and one steal per game. Three reasons why the Lakers should want to play the Nuggets in the first round. By clawing their way to the West's eighth seed, the Lakers have earned a rematch with the Pelicans and a chance to punch their ticket into the playoffs. While a loss would leave them with a do-or-die game against the winner of Warriors-Kings to win their way into the postseason, a dub would lock them into the seventh seed, matched up against the second-seeded Denver Nuggets. Facing the Nuggets might seem like a worst-case scenario for fans hoping to see as many Laker games as possible this season, especially given the fact that the Nuggets have won eight straight matchups dating back to 2022, including a four-game sweep in the 2023 Western Conference Finals. However, if a championship remains the Lakers' ultimate goal, the team should prefer the Nuggets as their first-round opponent.
As of today, Denver is the overwhelming favorite to win the West at plus 135 odds. To make the finals, the Lakers are likely going to have to beat the Nuggets at some point. If they are going to lose to them, they might as well do so early, giving LeBron some extra rest before the Olympics and preventing the possibility of a catastrophic injury in a game that the Lakers would need to win to even have a chance of facing the Nuggets. Since there are a few reasons the Lakers stand a better chance of surviving Denver now than they would later, the Lakers should lean into the challenge and embrace a first-round matchup against the defending champs. Despite Christian Wood and Jared Vanderbilt's probable absences or limitations in a first-round playoff series, the Lakers are otherwise at nearly full strength right now. Most importantly, LeBron is in a better place than he was last season when he truncated his recovery from a foot tendon injury to join in the Lakers' 2022-23 resurgence. LeBron's overall athleticism in the playoffs was below the level he showed before the injury last season and has displayed for the majority of the season as well. In response to a question about his health right now, LeBron said he felt better than I did at the end of the season last year going into the postseason. Given his relatively clean health status right now, the Lakers should be excited to attempt their biggest challenge as soon as possible. On one leg, LeBron's shooting suffered in particular as he made only 26.4% of his threes in the playoffs and 26.9% of his threes in the conference finals. Conversely, LeBron just finished the season shooting a career-high 41% from deep and drilled a Curry-esque 43.5% of his triples since the start of February. Even after 178 combined games played between LeBron and AD, including the in-season tournament championship, Knicks, bruises, or worse can come out of nowhere, especially when facing the intensity of the playoffs. Further, the effort required to perform at an elite level is a massive toll for an almost 40-year-old LeBron, so getting ahead of the inevitable attrition of the playoffs benefits the Lakers, rather than the Nuggets, who are younger and will likely be fresher in the later rounds. Finally, it is worth pointing out that the Lakers may be able to slow Jamal Murray by throwing Gabe Vincent at him, a player they only had available in their first matchup this year on the season's opening night. Los Angeles Lakers viewed as landing spot for all-NBA guard. The Los Angeles Lakers have been deemed a landing spot for superstar point guard Trey Young, according to Eric Pincus of Bleacher Report. Young, an all-NBA selection in the 2021-22 season, would give the Lakers a legitimate third scoring option to pair with LeBron James and Anthony Davis after he averaged 25.7 points per game in the regular season. Pincus writes that a deal would have to wait until July due to the Lakers being hard-capped at the first apron, which expires after June. A deal would have to wait until July as Los Angeles currently has a hard cap at the first apron, $172.3 million, that expires after June. It can offer up to three first-round and up to five second-round picks for Young. Along with firsts in 2029 and 2031, the Lakers could send either 2024 or 2025, the New Orleans Pelicans have the right to either, making that decision after the lottery but before the draft. If 2024, LA would execute the pick in June on behalf of Atlanta, in conjunction with a prearranged trade. The Lakers must send at least $43 million in outgoing salary to avoid a 2024-25 hard cap at the first apron, projected to be $178.7 million. If they're willing to be hard capped, that outgoing amount can dip to $34.2 million, but that might be impractical if James returns in the $50 million range. The Los Angeles Lakers decided to not make a move during the NBA trade deadline, giving them an opportunity to pursue talent in the offseason. With the offseason approaching, the Lakers will have three tradable first-round picks, pick swaps, second-round picks, a young talent in Austin Reeves, and other movable salaries. Matt Levine of Sports Illustrated wrote on March 2 about the Lakers' potential offseason plans. The Lakers will be armed with three first-round draft picks to trade away this summer after they elected to stand pat at the trade deadline. 
it's been speculated that the team will look to make a big splash this offseason by adding another star to surround LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Sam Amick, Anthony Slater, and Jovan Buha of The Athletic on February 14 hinted at Young being an option for the team in the offseason. The Lakers plan to continue their quest for a third star this summer, armed with as many as three first-round picks, four pick swaps and multiple second-round picks to make a compelling offer for any available star. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Trey Young? Leave your opinion in the comments.